next one is isochord 40 this is for the flowers that we used on the skirt and then for the little yellow dots and a piece of yellow on the flowers uh, we're using this one one six two three and that's Madeira again This is the finished front bodice design. And these are the back pieces. Okay, next you want to line up your velvet with your front section. And I've just, now being careful because they shouldn't really pin velvet, but because there's going to be a seam there, I've put a pin there just to stop it moving. I then did the same with the back sections. I lined up my velvet with the two pieces like so. And I've all those sections together, carefully sewn, show, sewn <laughs> the shoulder seam. Sorry folks. So you'll do that on both pieces. Next we've actually got to embroider another green swirl here so we're just going to take it to the machine and embroider a swirl before we continue any further. Okay we now embroidered the swirl over the strap seam. The trim for around the bodice is going to be done in sections which I think would be the easiest way of um, making it look right. And the first section will be the curve I'm going to do. So I've made up a pattern for that. And line up your pattern piece with a centre fold. And draw the line of the curve. And then extend that down at least six centimetres. Then draw another dotted line, this will be your sewing line, one and a half centimetres out. Then your cutting line will be one centimetre out further than that. And as well as extending down this way, we need to extend over this way, like so, about six centimetres and you'll need to cut two of these for each side because they're going to be fold um, have a, a seam to fold it I'm using this gold coloured liner fabric to make the strips that go around the outside of her bodice this will be the front where the heart line shape is These will be the bits that go over the strap and then these will be the bits that go on the back sections. We decided that we were going to put a very lightweight stiffener into our pieces. So cut out a piece to correspond with all your sections 
and then sew them all together about a centimetre in. When those are sewn together, reduce the stiffener as near as you can to the sewing line and then reduce the amount of fabric as well on all the pieces. You then want to give all your pieces a good iron. Like so. Okay, we're going to start off at the front. And this is the uh, sweet line, heart line shape at the front of the bodice. You'll notice that one end is shorter and one end is longer. Okay, you need to start pinning the edge where you've got the interfacing onto the edge of the bodice there, as you can just see. Now, if you remember earlier, we had the short end and the long end. This should be your long end here, and the shorter end ends up round there. So we just basically pinned it from this point here before the strap starts round to the bottom here and tacked it in place like so. Where the bodice starts to go up the shoulder, about a centimetre in, if you go to the opposite side, you need to make a mark where your starting point of sewing will be and you'll keep that at the same distance all the way down and then for the centre front you need a straight line down from the centre when you turn that over put your finishing point in so you know where to stop when you've sewn that on around the curve and I have to warn you it is very very difficult then clip sorry clip the uh, curve about every two centimeters and then you can turn that over to the right side that's what it should look like now I'm going to do the other side and when you come down the other side you have to move this one out of the way and your stitching has to finish exactly <coughs> where the first one stopped Right, that is the second one sewn on now. And this has really got the hard bit out of the way. The rest of it should be quite easy. Now we're going to do a little complicated manoeuvre. First of all, move these flaps out of the way so you can just about see your last stitch in there, just there. And what you're going to do is cut your bodice at the... Okay, I need a bit of a help with this one, so I'll just show you... Right, I need another pair of hands here, so um, I'm just going to show you again. You carefully move your fabric out of the way, and you can just about see the last stitch there where my finger is. And you're going to cut a little snip down that V quite close to your stitching. Then the next thing you're going to do is move these to the inside of your bodice and then fold your bodice in two 